y'all see my face, man. Look at my face. Look at my face, bro. You can't even see my face with this horrible webcam. I look like 2D Pac-Man. disgusted oh my gosh oh my gosh all right let's let's walk through this what happened first of all i got rid of all my currency pairs i ain't gonna lie to you i think i would make a lot more money if i just focus on these i just noticed that like more often than not i'm only taking usually indexes and gold and if i don't even have enough space of like i don't even have enough uh margin leverage to even get into um, you know, other forex pairs at the same time working with indexes because indexes just work so well. I mean, they they move very uh, frequently. They the plays play out very nicely a lot. Um, you can literally sign to find a setup every week, and if you're swing trading, you can find a good setup or, uh, once or twice a month. And man, they just play out so beautifully. Now, other than like consolidating all the time and just waiting and holding them, you know, keeping all that margin leverage, like you know, uh, held up, you know, tied up, Bruh, But what happened, bro? So look. So on Thursday, right? Um, you know, it is what it is. But look, Thursday, right? Now you're looking at this and like, man, Vince, you in profit, right? No, no, I'm not. Because why? All right, so US 30 actually did a spin move on me. You know what I'm saying? They crossed me over because I was expecting this is Friday. This is what Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Once Wednesday closed like that, I was expecting Thursday to be this candle. I was expecting Thursday to be this Friday candle. Friday did the oop de oop on me, bro. Oh my gosh, dude. Like, look, it came out, came down here, took out all three lows. Now, usually, usually, now here's another thing too, and I'm not trying to call ICT, I'm not, obviously, ICT know what he's talking about, but you can't take word for word everything everybody says because it might not work for you, bro. Most of the time, he said, most of the time, right? Well, I guess that means that he is right because technically it's most of the time but look look though it took out these three lows right and i was like oh man i was wrong maybe he's pulling back to that weekly because the weekly had this big bullish candle and maybe it just wants to pull back down to like around here this area maybe or even the 50 percent. usually when it breaks like this and does that turtle soup though it usually continues up all right and that's what i was thinking but it took me out on Thursday, bruh. Oh my gosh, dude. Hey, took me out on Thursday. I was mad. I was like, you know what? It is what it is. Chalk it up. I'll come back next week and I'm going to take the sales down, right? Tell me why Friday today. This is the market just literally closed. It's 4 o'clock now. 4 o'clock Central Standard Time since I'm in Chicago. That's when the market closes. So, 4 p.m. Um,. Bro, tell me why this thing does the spin move on me and comes back up to take out liquidity up here, too. I'm like, oh, man, you know you didn't, bro. And, bro, oh, my gosh. Because that had ended up happening on Thursday and it broke past these lows, even though Tuesday and Monday wouldn't take out on NAS, I was like, you know what? They moved together, though. So it might be lower prices coming in. So I took my profit here. Because I was like, you know what? I'll take some profit. You know, one trade took me out. I'm not going to just, just lose both trades, right? Bro, this is why when you set and forget, like, shout out to Alex. Like, bro, if once you set and forget, you're supposed to leave your stop losses where they're supposed to be. Even though these are two different instruments. And they do move very similar. One took me out, but the other one I could have been in still, bro. I could have been up. I could have been up. Instead, I took a break even pretty much this week. 
So now I am waiting for next week to have these last two weeks play out. I'm predicting next week is going to be a bullish week again. And maybe that last week might retrace a little bit uh, to close out the month. Or it might just still be bullish until that last couple of days and then retrace down a little bit or whatever. We'll see. But um, that's my analysis, man. That's what happened to me. Uh, it sucks, but it's the reality of trading in general. You know, you got to take your L's and you're going to take your wins. So last month was amazing, 12% on the month. And, you know, right now I'm at break even. Down like $20. I'm down like maybe like half a percent maybe. But like, you know, it is what it is. Just wanted to get y'all an update of the breakdown of the week and also update on my trading because this is my journey as well. And you guys are following me along on this journey. You don't have to take all my advice, but this advice, if you want to take, you can definitely take it. If not, then, yeah, you know, subscribe, hit the like button, keep following me for more, you know, and keep along with my journey. See see what happens. Am I going to fail? Am I going to pass? Like, you, you know, you never know. So I'll catch on next one. Um, like I said, I'm getting rid of the Forex pair. That's done. Uh, because I just feel like these play out so frequently through the month that it's enough for me to make off of, you know, just these three indexes and then gold. So I'll catch on in the next one, man. Pieces, deuces, pieces, deuces? Bro, when do I ever say that? I guess I do say deuces. Man, whatever, I'm out.